Hello and welcome back to Scarlet Sword HD. In the last episode, we completed the Love Letter side quest and also touched upon the Fledge Steroid side quest. Uh, speaking of the devil, there he is. Let's see what he has to say. <sighs> hey there, Link. Thanks again for that stamina potion. Since you gave it to me, I've been doing push-ups like a machine. You'll see. I'll be as tough as you in no time. Alright, thanks for the update, my guy. Um, and now in today's episode, what we'll be doing... I forget which house it was. Maybe it was this one? I think this isn't the right house. Nope. Yeah, definitely not. Um, now that we have the Gust Bellows, we've actually unlocked a new side quest. Um, something that has to do with Pippets. Was it over here? It might have been over here. Yep, it's the house. This house, I believe. Yep. This disgustingly dusty house. Uh, Link, welcome. So here's the thing, Link. My house is terribly dirty. Pippet is always telling me to do some dusting around here, but I just can't bring myself to do it. That's why I want to ask you if you wouldn't mind cleaning it for me. I'll even pay you, Link. I'm on it. <gasps> you will? Great. I knew you wouldn't leave me to sit in this dusty house, Link. What's that? A broom? You know, I don't even remember where we keep the crazy thing, or if we ever owned one. Most of the time, I just wait for a good strong wind to come along and blow the dust away. So look, I don't really care how you get the job done. I just want you to blow it all away for me. So I'll just leave you to it then. All right. So we just got to use the gust bellows to blow all the dust and cobwebs out of here. Sometimes we'll blow up the pottery like this. <laughs> but I mean, she said she didn't care how we got it done, just that we did get it done. But like, my God, how does it get this bad in here? Also, like, Pippet, like, I get that you're busy, but like, if your mom doesn't want to do it, just... just if your mom doesn't want to do it, and like you want it done, then just do it for yourself. Oh, jeez. Back in the Wii version, um, the Wii version is very blurry, um, and it was meant to be blurry. They actually um, used like an impressionist art style in the distance um, to make like objects in the background look very blurry, and um, it kind of was like a. Um, kill two birds with one stone because the Wii was not like very powerful as a system so in terms of graphics it couldn't do very powerful graphics um, so they're like oh that stuff in the background that's blurry well it's blurry because the Wii isn't powerful but also because we've adopted this impressionist art style and in the Wii version I really couldn't tell like how dusty the floor was but in the HD version it's absolutely disgusting because dusty and not dusty floor is like night and day but you can, at least I couldn't see it as well in the Wii version. Oh my, there's no more dust in my home. Thank you, Link. You've brightened my day. Come over here and let me pay you. Just got some really piercing eyes. Thank you so much, Link. My home is sparkling clean again. It feels so much better when the place isn't under a blink of dust. And we got some more gratitude crystals. We're up to like 28 now. We're doing really well for us. For, we're doing really well for ourselves. I can't let you go without your reward. Watch out, there's some big money coming. Bam, 20 rupees. If the place gets dusty again, I might need you to come back and tidy it up for me, but I'll pay you again, okay? Oh, one more thing. Don't tell Pippet about this. He'll only get angry at me for spending money on something he thinks I should be doing for myself. You can keep a secret, right? Yeah, for sure. For an extra 20 rupees. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, let's sleep until night. Um, I think uh, I might be misremembering, but I, I think that pretty much should be it for all of these side quests that, that are available right now. Leaving already, Link? If you see Pippet out on patrol, make sure you wave and say hello. All right, we'll do, ma'am. Um, but let's try to find two more gratitude crystals around Skyloft. I think we can do that. Um, just so we have an even 30, and then we'll report back to patrol. And I think I know... Oh. I know where to find... Yep, there's one gratitude crystal right there. Behind... Uh, 
find the tower. Awesome. And... I know where another one is. I know where at least two more are on top, off the top of my head. Um, one is pretty out of the way, but um, let's try the closer one first. Oh, wait, what am I saying? We're not done with side quests because we also have to go to the Lumpy Pumpkin. Uh, there's more stuff we can do there. Oh, and there's the 30th. Oh, God, I'm so excited. There's so much stuff to do. I, like I mentioned before, I really, really love these in-between episodes where we go shopping, we do side quests, we learn more about the characters. It's just really nice. Um, i got to time it. There we go. All right, now that we have 30, let's go report back to Betro. There's a choo-choo here. Yep. We have 30 gratitude crystals for you, my friends. Oh, you've got quite a lot of gratitude crystals, haven't you? How magnificent. Please take this as a token of this demon's deepest appreciation. You got a big wallet. You can carry up to a thousand rupees in this massive wallet. So I think we max out at 1900 now. Uh, because we have three extra wallets on top of that. You have made such magnificent progress gathering gratitude crystals. Please just continue helping me a bit longer. I want to open the chest. No, I begged you. Stop. That chest is not to be opened under any circumstances. There's something unspeakable inside. What? That chest contains the infamous evil of the dreaded cursed metal. If you carry that medal with you, you'll find more rupees than ever before. You'll even have better chances of discovering treasure. You'll... You'll... Oh, don't make me say it. It sounds handy. Now that you mention it, that does sound pretty enticing, but... It gets worse. Far, far worse. Any poor soul who holds that medal will find himself un unable to open his pouch. No matter how badly you want to use your potions or shields, they will be denied to you. Can you imagine a more gruesome fate? Please push any thought of this chest out of your mind forever. You must never think of it again. Now opening it. I mean, you can survive without a shield in this game. And yeah, you got the curse medal. With this, rupees and treasures will be will appear more often, but it also carries a curse that prevents your pouch from opening. Yeah, so see, we can't open our pouch, so that's why our shield is gone. Oh, oh dear, now, that you, now you've done it. You opened it, didn't you? Human desire is an insatiable, fearsome thing, even to a demon. But then again, I suppose it's also what makes your kind so intriguing. If your pouch won't open, fear not. That will only happen while you're carrying that medal. If you leave it at an item check, you'll be able to open your pouch once again. Alright. Um, I think we actually we got 30 gratitude crystals. If we walk back out and walk back in, um, he might give us another reward. Because I think the checkpoint is, a, is like 15, then 30. I don't remember. And I don't remember when the last time we visited him. 40. Ah, okay. Well, all right. So what we'll do... Uh, let me think. So what we'll do, we'll sleep until morning and then head to the Lumpy Pumpkin to do another side quest. And yep, just want to get rid of this guy. I mean, like it's really not that bad the cursed metal because I don't know. I've never been like desperate to use potions in this game. Um, the shield is very handy. Don't get me wrong, but like you can survive a really long time without one. So, oh wait, actually, there's a cutscene that we can trigger here. I believe. Maybe not. Okay, maybe, yeah, uh, not yet. Uh, but we'll come back to that. Um, and let's just find a random person's house to sleep in. 
How about this one? I like this house. It's like underneath the tunnel. I love to collect antiques, you know? All the things you see in my house are very old and valuable. Make sure you don't break anything. Oh, and here's the, um, the salesman. Oh, hey, what do you want? Shopping. And notice how he's all, like, dejected, because he's not, like, during work hours, so he doesn't need to be nice to us. You want to do some shopping? Just come back to the shop tomorrow. All right, thanks, Meanie. Um, I believe this is also another side quest. So this lady loves her antiques. Well, if we get a little rough housey. <laughs> no, how could you? You broke my antique. That's it. You break it, you buy it. Let me see now. That was a very expensive antique, so about 20 rupees should suffice. What's that look for? Oh, you think I'm just making that number up? That's ridiculous. I know the value of every item in my possession, and I intend to be compensated in full. Next time that happens, we're going to have words. I mean, 20 bucks for a full antique set? Must not have been very valuable. But yeah, let's take a nap. Or let's just go to sleep. <laughs> um, and let's head to the Lumpy Pumpkin. And you know what? Before we did that, let's go to the bazaar. Um, oh, but the lump... Yeah, the lumpy pumpkin is right there. Let's just go. I was thinking about going to the bazaar to... Um, uh, get rid of my cursed metal. Um, but I can do that off screen. Alright, let's try to catch this boost. Do a little bit of a dive. There we go. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean for that bad landing. And there's a batch of butterflies here, so we know what that means. Please give me a monster or a monster claw. I'm really low on those. Oh, nice. Thank you. And that's my way of petting him. <laughs> Alright, now time to do... I, I might be using the side, term side quest a little loosely. Like, the love letter side quest was definitely a side quest. A lot of this other stuff is just, like, stuff we can do. But that side quest, that seems about right. Oh, it's you. What should I have you work on next? If you guys forgot, this is this guy who is chandelier I broke, so we need to work part-time to pay him back for it. Oh yeah, you've got that interesting looking instrument. I've got it. I've got the perfect job for you. But that job can only be done at night. Wait until nightfall and come back and see me, alright? Alright, will do. You've got some beds here. So let's go to sleep. Oh, you came. Let me see. What was it that I wanted you to do next? Hey, what's that? That's a strange looking instrument you have there. Oh, yes. You might act, you might just be surprised to hear that Kina is actually quite the singer. It wasn't that long ago that she would sing for our customers, but she had to quit because her part, but she had to stop because her partner quit. Think you'd be willing to do a quick duet with Kina? Of course. Great. That's what I wanted to hear. But make sure you put your heart into it. I won't stand for anything but your best. Customers will start waving their arms as Kina sings her song, so you can just follow them if you need a guide to the rhythm you should be playing. Pick a customer whose movements are easy for you to follow and strum with them to stay on the right tempo. Don't worry about the direction of your strumming, just make sure you're not playing too fast or too slow, and use nice big sweeping motions to strum. When the customers stop moving, it's your chance to play a it's your chance to freestyle a little bit and play however you like. Okay. Alright then. Hey Kina. Yes, father, what is it? This kid is going to accompany you while you sing. Now how about letting your pops hear that beautiful voice of yours, huh? Of course. Let's do it, kid. So we just gotta follow the arms.
Oops. Sorry, I'm just silent because I want to focus. Freestyle. No, we didn't do that well. I guess you could call that playing, sort of. To tell the truth, I found your performance a little lacking. No, oh shoot, I knew I messed up. With this, I say we're even. You don't have to work for me anymore. Great job. You know, I'm going to buy a new chandelier to replace that old one. It really fancied up the place. Considering all the hard work you put in around here, I feel like I should give you a little something. Take this. Awesome. Thank you, man. Maybe you can swing by later. Yep, as a customer next time. Alright, we paid off our debt with the lumpy pumpkin owner, but you know what? Next episode, we will start back here, we'll see the new chandelier, and we will play a perfect duet with Kina, I promise you. Um, actually, I think it's better that we did the crummy duet while the chandelier is broken, it's kind of gloomy, and we'll do the perfect duet while it's um, more bright and beautiful. So yeah, we'll do that in the next episode. So until then... Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you then.